<laughs> this is so funny. Watch that doing this and the dog can't hear a thing. <laughs> He's activating stand. I was about to say, praise your dog. She doesn't care. <laughs> <laughs> so, what, oh, what, what do you do in this situation, Stan? Where the clapping ain't working? Look, she don't know what's. She's so, just. Under her leg. There you go. There you go. Look, this dog is. is there we go. This is what you call training in silence. You might have to do this moving forward. <laughs> what we can do to help man i know you was over you was overseas yeah i just got back um i just got back um saturday actually okay you were serving the military yep what french army okay i don't know nothing about no military so i'm gonna pretend like i do <laughs> <laughs> how long you been doing that man uh, i've been doing that for six years now and then uh got out then uh went contracting for a little while trucking also you're a truck driver yeah i'm a truck driver now oh well uh, <laughs> you don't say. Uh, <laughs> they got a trucker uh, company in there. Oh yeah. They literally mm -hmm. got loads and stuff that they have, man. They got trucks. I guess a guy that is in the military right now he keeps one on the road, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking about uh, getting me a box truck here <laughs> in a couple weeks to get get that going. Oh well, shit. Yeah. Well, shit. <laughs> so what was you over in Germany for here recently? Uh, I was contracting, so I was working with this one company named Amentum. So I was doing that, uh, working at a warehouse. Wasn't really doing nothing, just sitting around, collecting collecting cash, and then just building my empire from there. Okay. And then I got what I needed to get out of there, so I'm like, you know what? It's time for me to come back home, take care of her. Yeah. And what made you get her? Was this an impulse buy? Uh, so I got her off for my uh, girlfriend, because she wanted a dog, because I was on the road. So it was definitely road. impulsive. Yeah, impulsive, yeah. Okay. She was like, you gonna be on the road, don't be alone. That's how women are. They're like, look, I need a baby or a dog. You're like, look, well, let's go dog shopping. Yeah, so <laughs> she had a sister that her pattern was like hers but like it was fully cold so it was not that much white mm. and i was gonna get her but uh she stood out more than me and my girl's like i want her i want her so that's when i was just like all right cool we got her and then we you know when you forget a puppy call her name you know, like they want to sniff everything like you know right now and then later on i was just like i was like all right we come to the house and she'd be knocked out i'm like Still knocked out. I'm like, all right, something's going on here. So I took her to the vet, and the vet. I took her to the vet the first time to get her shot. She like, she got, she got blue eyes. I'm just like, yeah, like me not knowing. I'm like, oh, that's cool. It's like, yeah, it's, that could be a sign that she can be deaf, but who knows? So that's how I first got the got to introducing, and then I took my girlfriend to like to get that to get that clear. Like, all right, is she deaf or not? Man, she started breaking down crying when the doctor was like, yeah, she's deaf and this time and the third, yeah. So did they do Merle to Merle? I don't, so I bought her and it's crazy because this is this something I never do. Usually I usually I see the, the dad, the mom. This time I bought her off a, off a Facebook group. Got me. Hmm? And, I, and I just moved from Alaska. So I was in Alaska and I bought, <laughs> my, I bought my first pit bull in California where I'm usually from. So like I know the area. So off of her, I'm just like, all right. Somebody's like, oh, go to this individual got her it was just like man but you know it's a with me i love it i enjoy it yeah you enjoy the process yeah i'm enjoying the process but at first sometimes it could be frustrating but at the same time i'm more patient than my girlfriend my girlfriend was like that's one of the reasons why i came back because she was like she is like too much for her to take care of by herself so i'm like i come back so I came dog back. Dog brought you back. Ain't that crazy yeah. what the dog will do? Won't he do it? Man. Do it. And I couldn't I couldn't take her to Germany because they, they they doing a little band where input and pit bulls is, 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 is hell. Is, is hell. And then like if you do, you gotta go through so much stuff. <laughs> then you gotta pay taxes on them. I'm just like, all right, I'm not doing all that. Yeah, it's like moving the house over there, man. Basically. What? So I was like, all right, cool, I'll just come back. Dang, so, so does she know any commands? Uh, and how do you she, teach her? Do you just no, so we gotta, I gotta control. Vibrate. Yeah, so like I can tell her, she's probably sniffing. She's looking at me and she'll come right next to me and she'll be like, oh, she like it over here. Mm -hmm. And so that does, that's a buzzer. Yeah, a buzzer. So she'll just sit right here in front of me. So I just um, give a little tingle. Tingle, yeah. So T means 
I'm calling her. When she's doing something wrong, I press the S. I mean, like, I guess it's two, it's two, um, two prongs on there. So the S is for probably a more like, hey, you hey, messing up. Hey. And then T is like, hey, come here. So mm -hmm. I said, I just got back Saturday. So she went, my girlfriend know more hand signals with her than I do. But she, my girlfriend's more like in tune with her than I am because with me, she had just come by and sit next to me. I don't have to do much. With her, she, she's like a bully to her. Like, yeah, you got to tell me. <laughs> you got to show me. Like, it's that male, it's that male alpha dominance that she like, okay, yeah. I ain't going to do that much with she. And did you get to communicate with the breeder about this particular issue or no? I tried to. Did he disactivated his account. He just blocked your blocked ass, me. He? Blocked me like a motherfucker. I'm like, all right, cool. I take this bullet and I was just letting people know on Facebook like hey listen if you see this individual I have pictures and all that like because I wasn't I wasn't mad and I'm just like bro like I I just want to let you know like listen you selling you you mix some moral moral and that's why I started doing more research before you said you probably mix some moral moral I'm like <laughs> you start doing research and you said moral moral I'm like oh it probably can probably that Look, people that do stuff like that they don't care yeah they don't you can, you can tell them they still gonna do it yeah and that's, that's the that's like. the problem with the dog world there's a new dog owner every day and you know, people are gonna be like, "Oh, she looks good," and they're gonna take her. Yeah, I yeah, think cool. got me. They look good. Like, all right, cool. <laughs> I'm like, no, nigga. Yeah. So, what's been, what's been your biggest challenge with her? Um, well, like I said, like I got her. She just went to train. She went to training in July. I've been going since July. So, with me, um. It's more, I guess, I gotta, I gotta give back because she went to All Dogs Unleashed to get trained mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, um, and, and Dallas and um, I guess they, they do the bare minimum so they don't teach like, <laughs> they, they just do the obedience like hey, she can go sit on the training pad without getting up, I can be in the kitchen, I point at the training pad, she'll go sit there all day, won't, won't move, she'll get her little, she'll do it, she'll be like, can I get off now? No, and I look at her and she'll be like, alright, I'll get back on, I'll get back on, so uh, to answer your question, I guess it's just overall just like, cause she got the obedience down, but you know, all, dogs are always a work in progress type thing. Well, I mean, you're saying that she can place. Mm -hmm. What other obedience does she have? I think that's that's the only thing. <laughs> <laughs> but she like like she like she she won't she won't she won't run off on me. Like if I'm if I have her loose and I'm walking without without a leash, which I don't do usually, but if I'm by myself and nobody's next to me, I walk around at least I see how far she willing to take it. But she'll probably walk a couple heads instead of me and then she'll turn around like, right, am I good enough? And then she come back around type yeah. thing. So um, that's the only obedience she has. Like, hey, if I say place, she'll place. If I say come, she'll come. If I say sit, she'll sit. If I say down, <clears throat> she'll down. Show me. Is that a treat? You, know, you, need, you need a treat? No, I don't think so. She more interested in you. <laughs> <laughs> she like. I'm the, I'm the dog whisperer. Yeah. <laughs> He's sitting down. Oh, that's your dog whisperer. He's like, okay. So, like, getting her to stay in that position. I haven't trained her on that position. I haven't trained her on the stay down position. You're doing yeah. a lot for a deaf dog. There's some seat. There's yeah. some good eye dogs. Good ear dogs and they listen and mine included. Well, she can't hear you, right? <laughs> <laughs> this is one time hey, stand can't get loud. That movie, see no ear, evil ear, no evil. <laughs> stand can't make us out. Yeah, yeah exactly. He cheat, 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 cheat. Don't work. Don't work here, buddy. <laughs> Yeah, cheat, cheat, cheat somewhere else, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Ain't no sound distractions today. Yeah, hey. <laughs> it's a good verse. Yeah, it's like that. It's default. It's default. <laughs> <laughs> you have to say, that's a good girl with your hands. <laughs> so, did they, did they say she completely can't hear? Yeah, she, she, she deaf, can't bro. You don't understand it. When this happens, this is the worst case scenario. Ooh. It's bad. She'll be like, she'll be dead sleep. I come by her, I come by her cage. I just tap on the floor, and she so like, all right. So, so what do your stems mean? Well, that's um, what I just told you. Man. So T means <laughs> if I say like if I if I click T, I mean like and she and she if she looking at me, she'll come here. Good girl. Oh, she and she be like that. Now if she's messing up real bad. Mm -hmm. I press the S. The S means like, hey, you messing up? And she and she a nugget. She'll go like, okay. And she'll stop and she'll run right back to me. Yeah, so if I press a little, S, a little bit. Yeah. Uh, so have you tried doing like 
two tees for her to down? Oh, uh, no, I haven't. It just, I like, if I do two tees, she'll come. I ain't got nothing about I know, I know. Probably like, okay, who, who, so, who got low, lower it a little? What's it on now? It's on 22. All right, so lower it a little, because you see how she's having like a huge reaction? Mm -hmm. So now. Oh, I got the treats. Yeah. <laughs> what he's really saying is less is more in these cases and finding that direct path to making sure you are basically communicating effectively with somebody who you can't talk to technically uh, even though dogs everything starts with their nose anyway would be ideal mm -hmm. it's a good thing she got good eyes yeah i ain't got nothing mom So that means when he gets her, when he gets there, when she comes back and then he puts her down, he basically busts twice. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Well, I want her, I'm like, come here. If I don't want her, but hey, go, I, I just point go over there. Like, hey, go over there. And she knows, she like, that? Oh, okay. So what's your best advice for people that are buying dogs and this don't happen to them? Oh man, best advice? It's, it's so much, cause it's like, <laughs> you really have to do your research. Cause like, pit bulls have, amount of energy if you don't have the time don't do it bro like that's that's the first thing don't do it because energy is everything because they feel it they feel your energy so like your energy down all they want to do is play 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 and you're not giving it to them now you're neglecting them um secondly man just do your research like research 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 like make sure that hey you meet the parents hey make sure that they stay with them for at least 10 weeks 10 weeks and then make sure that the, the owners like take is taking care of the dogs because they not they're just like you buying a dog that you don't know if the aggression is huge and they're not even checking it. It's like okay, so it's a, it's a whole lot, man. It's, look, he said anything I say, bro. I ain't got to do nothing this episode. <laughs> I mean, look, he's an owner. He's a pet owner. How many pit bulls have you had, man, over the years? Over the years, I have uh, four. I got three in Alaska right now. Oh, you still in the cahoots with Alaska? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How often you go back there? Uh, I'm going back there to pick up my other girl, Dior, uh, next month. Mm, no, April. Picking up her so she can have a partner to like guide her through like mm -hmm. being outside. Cause I'm about to I'm about to buy a house as well. Yeah. With a yard so they can play in. Right now I'm in an apartment. I'm just like, uh, it's kind of hard. Yeah. Versus back in Alaska, I got a house so they the dogs out there in the back. Dang, how long was you in Alaska for? Three years. Yeah, my heart is negative 22 over there right now. Yeah, I think the, the worst it got when I was out there, like negative 47. Yeah, that's ridiculous. And that's when like your nose, like you trying to breathe, you just, you just, you hurting, trying to breathe. <laughs> you hurt it. Ain't nobody got time for that, man. Listen, I got a per one of the people in our, my feeding club on Instagram, she's in Alaska. She was like, oh, you think it's cold there? She's like, it's negative 22 right now. I said, fuck that. Fuck negative 22, that's for the birds. Yeah. That's, that's you that's pour warm. water and it freezes, right? Like, <laughs> that's warm. You said that's warm. That's wow. warm. No, it ain't no way. Well, what, warm. So you wanted to see if the dog would do bite work? Yeah. Can she bite? Do you have a harness? Just... Well, not a harness, though. I don't think we, do we have a harness? I mean, we got the next dog. Guys. She probably could, but it's, do we got a small? I, I think, I actually, actually, I think I have one in the car, small one. Go ahead, look, guys, stay tuned, we'll come right back. <laughs> Like perfect boy. Yeah. You got the right one. You got the right one, baby. Listen, uh-huh, uh-huh. So so we got her in a little best people. <clears throat> um, it's one of the things you want to put your dog in. Oh, that one got the harness thing. I just realized that the, the, <laughs> the ring that Norman's on there got ripped out. I was like, oh, dang yeah, boy. Our dog's a terrorist. So. Terrorist boy. So I was like, I just realized I was like, oh man, this might not work on this one. See if she'll play with that. I think I got one. Okay. There we go. Man, go go see what we go see if we can get it. Where you go, mama? Go ahead, get in there. Uh oh. Uh oh. So a couple of things. You see me active, man. She's active. She's interested, which is always good. I don't know how she would hear a bird balloon. <laughs> I'm being funny, but dead ass. You go. What happens if somebody walks in? Then she's got to have super discernment too, yeah. because she's got to know she got to know who's who, who's who's a uh, a non relative and yeah, and she, she's very friendly. Like she'll come up to anybody, be like okay, I know you, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, that's why I'm that. bringing my other dog Dior, because like she's more she's more trained. Yeah. And 
the doctor like uh, it's good to have two dogs so she can sense when the other dog is. That's crazy. That's, that makes sense. You know, like when you're in the club with your homies and the temperature starts rising. Yeah. And you're like, oh man, what's going on over here? You know him? Yeah, man. And then everybody's temperature starts. Yo, oh, the boiling temperature, when it hit 212, it's about to get hot. Yeah, so I'm going to bring her and uh, I'm going to put her through training, the training she went through with the same trainer. Yeah. So they can be on one scene. Huh? And now when I come to the house, you're already going to know. And she can just wake up out of nowhere and just, oh, okay. Oh, but she'll feel the movement and stuff. Mm -hmm. okay. her, her senses is high. That's one of the things doctors like. She can she can smell food from. <laughs> hey, hey, remember the movie Ray? It's like that hummingbird outside. <laughs> How can you hear that? Uh, you could. <laughs> mm, go stand over there. Be interesting to see how this one plays out. It's not gonna work. I'm about to say, what's ain't gonna work, my man? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, this no, no chirp, chirp, no whistle. I'm just, I'm just naturally no. curious. I was just about to tell you, I said, look, you might just let her live, make sure she eats good and just is a loving dog. Yeah. Because, because you, you, I mean, I don't know how far you can take it, but you know, we saw that. What's that movie where he goes, Matt Demigo? Uh, oh, you're thinking of uh, John, no, that? Once Upon a Time in Hollywood with Brad Pitt. Yeah, he goes, and yep. that pit bull, they didn't see the dog the whole time. He was just right there on the couch. <laughs> they still. So don't move, stay like, be like a tree. <laughs> this is so funny, watch them doing this and the dog can't hear a thing. <laughs> He's activating Stan. I was gonna say, praise your dog. She doesn't care. <laughs> <laughs> so, what, oh, what, what do you do in this situation, Stan? With a clapping name working, look, she don't know what's. So she's I'll just. Under her leg. There you go. Here you go. Look, this dog is. is there we go. This is what you call training in silence. You might have to do this moving forward. <laughs> see, see, see how far. This is where you dress him up like a mime. Ah! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, he looks so good. He got to fade it out on that too. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> stupid dog. The dog can't hear nothing. So what do you do in this position where you got to praise the dog and like get her? Do you teach it like good, like good girl in sign language and then no. just sign it to death? She ain't got no time for that, but she sees she's still learning the behaviors and stuff. So every time she, but he can't even come with an active word. Oh. He can't stump twice. He can't maybe like do the buzz thing like three times, but then you got to have that on deck. <laughs> he ain't got his buzzer. He did. Dang. <laughs> Oh, this is this is deaf training one on one. Be quiet, people. <laughs> oh, get up, get up, get up! She turned. Oh. That's got a little weight in it, boy. They do got a little bit of weight. Little weight in it. It's a little lightweight. You use it that little weight. That little weight make a difference. Uh, yeah. You can pat her up mm -hmm. when she does something you like. Okay. Girl, yeah. <laughs> Even though know, she ain't gonna hear you. <laughs> this is kind of entertaining, though. Pat, not rub, that's a rub. Pat, pat. Yeah, rub a soother. You, you want to pat sports, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you ain't never. <laughs> Good job. Yeah, Coach yeah, rubbing yeah. booties, you be like, oh, this nigga's a. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah, uh, hey, man, what you doing? Nowadays, nowadays, I'm coaching, boy. <laughs> She's dead and bored. Good. We'll end on that. Take a little tired. Told him to hang it out to the left. Mm -hmm. To the left, to the left. Yeah, uh, she was in the house for like two hours and I went to take care of her business. And we had a big old park next door and no dogs be in there, nobody be in there. So I got I got a cone ball. Oh yeah. And I just be watching that bad boy. She <laughs> uh, and she brings it back. Oh, what? She brings it back. She takes the other place too. I'm like, bro, bring it back to me. She be like, now you're gonna have to follow me, come get me. Damn. And then mm. she go right in the corner and she'll sit against the fence, she'll rub, she'll rub down. And then 
get a drop. She was swimming with me. She said, ah. Don't work, bro. You don't need to. So when you play with the ball, you don't use your recall? No. Because <laughs> she, she didn't see me, and she just come back. So it's not like she just. It's not every time. Ball, and she's not just going off. She'll grab the ball, she'll turn around, she'll just come right back. Interesting. Guys, listen. You know, I think we're all a little puzzled out here. i got to be honest with you. <laughs> and you're puzzled because dogs don't care about sounds, what they do. And if I get up and hype, you go up, you know, they'll get super loving, get active, his dog, all of ours. So you go, you know, when the when the dog who's um, hairless, <laughs> is what I'll call it, not hairless, but hairless, you go, well, what's the trick here? I don't know. <laughs> I got Because you don't want to buzz her to death either. Mm. And then it becomes very addictive. And then imagine your buzzer die. <laughs> you got to charge that thing? Yeah. See every, night. <laughs> every night. It's like an Apple Watch. You got to make sure that book is on the yeah, charger. Charge otherwise, there'll be a... Like clockwork. And so the good thing is what I'm what I'm guessing is that this dog isn't um, an aggressive dog, so you don't have to worry about her being deaf and aggressive. Yeah. Uh, because <laughs> that would be a real bad problem. Yeah. At that point, you got to put her down because now she can't even be a coexist with nobody else. The upside is is you know she's listening enough. Yeah. And he's got the patience to deal with it. I don't know what the trick to this is. I got to be honest, but I was curious as hell. <laughs> Which is why I was like, just pull up. And I said, Stan will be here. Yeah. And Stan's face is confused too, because I mean, what do you do in this situation? I mean, like you said, it, it relies a lot on these these buzzes and the stems, and you don't want to overdo it because they can't mean more than one thing uh, to the dog. So, mm -hmm. uh, getting her out in the world, confidence. She's a little squirrely when you touch her, but again, she can't hear, so she's going to take everything a little bit more literally than a normal dog would. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. It makes sense. You think about it. you say something and you pet your dog. It like hype. If I say something and I change my tone, the ego be like, oh snap. You know, it's just, it's a change in tone. It, it makes, it uh, addresses, they'll address you body behavior wise a specific way. So that, she, she don't know what's going on. So everything to her is heightened. Yeah. As he said, her senses is OD. OD. The wrong touch could send the wrong message. Mm -hmm. Dang. That's why like people be like, hey, can I pet her? I'd be like, no, she's in training because yeah. I don't know how their dog is. I don't know how they are. I'm, I'm huge on energy too, so yeah. like you having a bad day, you rub with my dog, and my dog just get crazy out of nowhere, do something crazy. I'm like, yeah, nah, I'm good. It's called chemo signals, people. The technical term is chemo signals. It's one of the things we wreak the pheromones on a dog to see it. So there are dogs who will lose, uh, will get emotional when somebody's going through cancer. The dog embraces that same emotion. When you're dealing with stress, it embraces that emotion because it can, its senses are naturally, deaf or not, heightened, and it's like, oh, you're reeking of stress. Cortisol is a real thing. It's a real thing, and when you're stressed out, you can smell it. You can smell it, man. At any who people listen, take care of your dogs. We thank Malik, correct? Yeah, Malik. For stopping oh, by and, 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 you know, letting us meet his dog. Hopefully, uh, he definitely make you think about a few things. But the number <laughs> one thing to think about, I think, in this episode is make sure you're doing your research, people. If you're getting pit bulls and bullies, unfortunately, the community of these people aren't rooted in a lot of care. And the care from a let's do the right thing for the dog versus let's just produce dog thing. We meeting dogs like this and even hearing the stories and people literally using me right now to try to get folks for some money it's frightening because i would never do that i literally would never do that so keep taking your dogs people good luck all right man let me follow stan and stuff like that so i was like that's how i found dogs just like random <laughs> Death, death, maybe. <laughs> like, hey. maybe there might have been a decibel that she could hear. This ain't doing no noise. She's just looking for the treat at this point. Yes. Look, people, so Stan has this, what kind of whistle is this? This is a Fox 40. So it's a Fox 40, which is a high-pitched whistle, which also sends some type of vibration, I presume. Uh, yeah, that's how sound waves work, right? That's how they work. Stand back away and turn around. <laughs> she now she he got some treats. So we're looking for his engagement. <clears throat> you give me that. She give you that because she's smart. She got her senses on food is heightened. Other thing is, is my man said he just switched to the raw too. That was huge. Yeah. She was losing huge. She was losing so much hair. Like I could go like this. I, if I went all black, you'd think my whole my whole fit with the designer fit off of her hair. <laughs> it was crazy. <laughs> But now I switched to raw, man, like, here, like, it takes a little time for, like, dramatic change, like, within the day. Dang. Dramatic change. So yeah. she ain't losing that much animal. Yeah, no. Isn't that crazy, people? She can sit in my car, and I'll probably see, like, a couple here and there. But before she sit in my car, I got a claw. Man, 
it'd be like, yeah, yeah, let me go get a vacuum cleaner real quick. I'd <laughs> for the night, like, let me go get this. I want to buy a seat in my, in my seat, you know. But now, like, I can sit there, I don't worry about it. Now, people, I didn't sell you nothing. This is the first time meeting him. We did just send the address and pull up. And fast forward, he says, yo, I just switched to Raw. And boom, life is good. That's a white dog. She got some thick fur, too. So, I repeat, you see me grab Zora and wipe my hand. The better food, less hair problems. More dog food, more problems. Y'all yeah, 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 really changed yeah, I really changed the way I view pit bulls now, and especially her. Like she changed my life. That way y'all, you know, y'all just even boots. I was yeah. like, boots be on it. I was <laughs> like, look at boots. And then, you know. I appreciate it. I mean, look, we don't know what we're doing, man. But it's just like when they started the Facebook, Amazon selling a book, you go, we gotta figure out, we gotta do the work. And in the work, we might find an answer. So even in, you know, you sending me stuff and communicating regularly, I put you in my general messages. So when you pop up, it actually shows like, okay, I kind of know this person a little bit. But, um, you know, your story, even with the deaf dog, and then watching Stan go through, <laughs> he, he doing, he, he conducting the choir over, he don't know what he doing. <laughs> it's funny to watch him, because you go, He's got to figure it out because them noises, they literally ain't working. <laughs> get excited, get excited. But that's a beautiful thing because that was the goal. If we could change the way people see things, we could change the way people do things. And so far, we've empowered a lot of people. And again, it's just a try. Yeah. I ain't selling nothing. I got some supplements up, but you go, I ain't selling nothing. But like, here's some information that might help your dog. Yeah. And I'd like the individual to take that information. But like, okay, let me do my research. Yeah, I can. Yeah, he's saying it, but let me do my own. There you go. To just yes. verify. There you go. And you know. if they can apply, you go, wow. Cause trust me. <laughs> that changing my changing her diet to just raw, no kibble. Don't don't get me wrong. Kibble is the cheapest rub. But like, I start doing research. Like, okay, what? Why did we switch to kibble? Like, mm -hmm. oh, it was more. It was more convenient. Yeah, convenient. But like, for who? For for <laughs> for the human aspect not for them <laughs> it just break out hair you know it's itchy scratching hot spots <laughs> change that she ain't got hot spots no more she she ain't shared no more and she got more energy so i'm i'm super stoked i'm super excited guys and it's just like anything it's funny because diabetes people who have diabetic are diabetic they can't have a lot of sugar right yeah when you drink too much alcohol has too much you, your skin gets dry everything gets dry mm -hmm. your liver begins to corrode what happens when you double down on too many carbohydrates, especially with an animal that don't even need it like that? Hell, we don't need them like that. Yeah. We need our, we need the bare minimum, and we need what we need. But in excess, it don't serve you no good. Oh, good. So yeah, raw. Where is that? And her name is what? Nola. Nola. I don't even think I asked her name. No. Poor Nola. But that's the thing. She don't know her name, right? Yeah. She can't even. She can't even Dang. You can't even know her. You don't hear that Nola there? <laughs> <laughs> man, such a pretty girl. I just like that she's happy, man. Even people like, hey, man, I want your ego. I'm like, bro, he's just a dog. He's my dog. He's having a good life. That's how they're looking like. Yeah. yeah. Like, she's cool. Yeah, man. That's how you want those people to have a, enjoy their process and, and, and enjoy their dog. Yeah. So, so we glad that you're doing that, man. Look, again, we don't know what we can do for you at this point. We wanted to see. Stan ain't hit a wall, but you just go activating her. No, I mean, like, all of that stuff, you just have to have very clear communication with her, and it's yeah. nonverbal. So oh, hand gestures. signals, yeah. gestures, you know, hand signals, you want her to come to the left, you know, wide left, wide right, you want her to go to the middle, all of these different things. Uh, <laughs> she can do it, it's just, you know, a little more time more, consuming. Yeah, more, yeah. Because you can't say, ah, you're messing up, you gotta go back, reset. That's the other thing, how do you even, over. you can't even do a hard correction, any type of correction with her in excess, because it is not, bro, we, we did video, I was tearing ego up earlier. <laughs> but, but he know better. <laughs> but he's a Negro. <laughs> he's a Negro. Well, man, don't let us keep you, man. You more than welcome. Look, you need anything, you got my number. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I, that's well, weird, I, I don't do nothing all day. I just take care of her and take care of the house. Yeah. I'm, I'm like, I'm like, hey, I'm just Who you building your business and stuff? Yeah, I'm building my, yeah, I'm building that. So like, huh. and I, I put like two hours on that every day. You know, I don't over exact myself because yeah, you hungry, huh? Cause it's, it's almost, it's almost yeah, yeah, it's time to eat. No, 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 don't eat that wood. That wood.